Hi guys, um, my name is Alan, so uh, I'll be with you guys on live trading today. So um, Sean is actually getting ready to go to Malaysia for business trip, so uh, he's not going to be here today. And then um, he's going to be landing in Malaysia tomorrow, and then um, I think he's going to be really tired to do live trading for tomorrow as well. So um, for tomorrow, I will be still with you guys, and then um, for Wednesday, I will... Um, be on live with you guys um, together with Stephanie. So um, yeah, for the next few days, I'm gonna be here with you guys. So um, just bear with me for the next few days. Um, I will try to bring some useful contents for you guys to trade on um, binary option. So yep, that's the plan. Um, so yep. Anyway, um, actually my back is not feeling really well recently. Well, but um, actually it's not really recently, but um, since few years ago when I was still in uni, and then um, cause my posture was really bad, and then uh, I was sitting nice now like I put my I put my feet on the chair and sitting like it's now like that. So um, and it eventually go back like this. So um, I actually went to the clinical massage on Saturday and then um, they actually told me that my back is actually a lot older than my actual age and then, um, and then um, they did massage for me and then they twisted my back and then um, it was so hard and um, the sound was so loud and then everyone around there was looking at me but uh, well it actually feels good after that and then um, and then I just need to go there at least once a week, and then um, just to 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 do mas to do the massage, and then until it's fully recover. So I think a lot of you are s working in office and sitting whole day. So um, I strongly suggest you to stand up and stretch stretch a bit once in a while. So just a, a little piece of advice from me, just as a bad as a bad example for you so um, hopefully it helps you as well so yep let's go back to the topic for today um, before I do the actual trading I want to talk about the um, the economic Canada that actually is in the same on the same page that with the same uh, with the signal 2 which is just above the signal 2 which you guys might using it every day. So um, yep. So the economic can ca calendar is actually have a bunch of economic indicators within it, like the um, like basically everything like all over the world. Like <coughs> so, the blue next to it is the level of importance. So the more they have, the more important it is. So um yep it has the actual result, the forecast and the previous result. So yep, it's a really useful information for you here. So um for today I will talk about the um economic Canada uh, indicator that you need to pay attention to for today. So the important economic indicator for today is the German IFO business climate index. So um, the German IFO Business Climate Index is a key monthly survey that measures the um, German economy that um, is widely followed as an early indicator of the state of Germany, uh, German, in, uh, German economy. The IFO Business Climate Survey is based on um, approximately 7,000 uh, monthly survey responses uh, from firms like the manufacturing, construction, wholesale, and retails, and uh, as the largest economy in European Union, Germany's Germany's business climate has a um, implications for the rest of the Germ uh, European Union. So, uh, which is going to have a really big impact on the market, like on the euro market. So if you're thinking to trade with Euro, you will better off to go and have a look at it before you make trades. Uh, it will most likely benefit you. So um, or even you are not trading with Euro, it's better to go and have a look at it, get it because um, all currencies are connected to each other. 
So, yep. So, there's uh, a lot of other indicators here as well. So, um, just make sure you go and have a look at it before you make trades every day. It, it might, it's really gonna benefit you. Like, um, for example, if you click on here, like, which is today's um, German IFO Business Climate Index. And then um, you scroll down a bit and it tells you, like, higher than expected rating should be taken as positive for Euro, while a lower than expected rating should be taken as a negative for Euro. So it actually tells you that, like, which way you should go with, like up or down. So yeah, um, really suggest you to go and have a look at it before you make trades every day, just to have a look at the importance one. So yep, that's it. Oh yeah, uh, another thing, uh, one last thing bef uh, I want to talk about before I make trade. So, um, you know the um, French president election, the um, the one of the the guy um, Mac Macron is actually leading. So, um, the Japanese end is actually going down quite smoothly, but the price is actually not too stable yet, so uh, which is moving up and down irregularly sometimes and then um, so just a reminder for you to keep an eye on the um, on the price while you trade on Japanese end. So yep, that's it. That's for the talk. Now let's do the trade. Yep, let's make this smaller. Let's go down. Yep, that's the signal. So yep, it's just right below the uh, economic calendar. So make sure you have a look at the calendar before you trade. Yep. Let's so let's do what I always do first. Let's pick the um the currency pair. That's the um MetaTrader four. So here is the British pound and US dollar. One minute chart. The moving average is pointing up. Five minutes chart is pointing up as well. Fifteen minutes chart is pointing up as well. So looks good, looks good. But um, now the bearish um, the bearish candlestick just came out. That uh, I'm a bit scared that it's gonna come down based on my experience from last trade I made here. Yep, it's coming down now. So yep, let's have a look at the others. Aussie and US dollar. One minute chart going up, yep, going up here, and then five minutes going up, fifty minutes going up as well. It's looking good. So um, I might stop looking. It's looking like the perfect option for now. Let's zoom in. Yep, yep, looking good. Aussie and US dollar. Let's have a look on the um signal. Aussie, yep, strong buy, awesome, cool. Let's have a look. Well, oh yeah, well, let's pick the uh, currency pairs on the um on the binary option. Oh, it just finished. Just need to wait for the next trade. I'm scared. Please, please keep going up. Yeah, it's looking good. I mean, um. Oh, yep, yep. That's the bull candlestick coming out now. Still looking good. Yep. We we'll see. There's another around two minutes before I make my decision. So we will have a look at it and make sure it's it's going up before we before we make the purchase. Hmm. Yeah, um, so every day when I wake up, my back is actually really sore. That um, I just need to stre uh, stretch every day before, like when I wake up. And then the doctor actually told me to do exercise, but um, I'm just too lazy to do it. Well, now it's become buy, so uh, let's have a look at the MetaTrader 4 again, just to make sure. Well. The MetaTrader 4 is looking good, but um, 
but the uh, signal tells me it's by now, so um, I will have to double have double think on it. I have to think again that um, if I should purchase, maybe not. Okay, let's have a look at the other currency pair. Let's go back. Yep. Let's have a look. Euro and US dollar. What it says on the signal just now. Strong sell. Um, no, it's pointing up here. No, not yet. Maybe, maybe few trades after might might be going down, but not now. Yep, we're we'll still keep looking. US dollar, Japanese yen. Nope, it's flat here. So yep, that's not that's not a good choice. British pound, US dollar. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It looks okay. Let's have a look on the signal here. Uh, what was that? What was that again? Um, British pound and US dollar. Yep. Yes, so Oh uh, well, doesn't match. So um. I will wait. What it says here? Yeah, um, how about Euro? Euro here, Euro US dollar. Strong sell. Um, not yet. Maybe soon, but um, just have to wait a bit more. Oh yeah, um, it back to strong buy now. Let's have a look on the um, on the binary option. Yep, yep, looking good. So yeah, um, just wait for the last moment before it goes to the stop line. I double check on here on the moving average. So I zoom in for you guys. Um yep. Five minutes going up. Fifteen minutes going up. One minute going up. Yep, looking good. Yep, so uh yep, strong buy here. Yep, so just get ready. I'm gonna put in my trading amount. High, like strong buy. So yep, it's, it means high. So yep, wait for a bit more. Wait for a bit more. I double check you. Yeah. Yep, looking good. I mean. Just have to wait until it goes to the stop line. Yep. Around this this spot here. So Yep, almost oh it's going up already. So yeah oh yep, I, I purchase now. Yep. Let's wait now. We have one minute. I'm nervous. Yep, looking good. Let's stay there. Don't disappoint me. Stay there. Yep, looking good. Yep, I think I'm gonna make this one. Yep. The last 10 seconds, let's come down for me. I'm gonna make 70 bucks. Yep, finished. Yep, cool. Let's have a look on the history. 
Yep, that's 70 bucks. Let's keep going. Oh, it's still strong by. Wow. So, um, let's have a look. I can. Yeah, still looking good. Oh. Well, we still have time, so uh, we'll have a look at the other currency pairs. Just make sure we're picking the best one to trade. Um, sometimes I wish I have two monitors, so um, I can just put everything there and doesn't have to to minimize and and open it again and stuff. So let's see. Um, pound and US dollar looking good as well. It's still strong buy, so it makes sense here. And still, I mean, um, the Aussie and US dollar is still looking the best to me. Oh no, the bears start to come out. And then, um, well, I guess I can still trade with um Aussie and US dollar. So yep, let's have a look here. Yeah, still strong buy. So um. I will catch this chance again. Um, just I just catch the trend. I think it's the uptrend now. Uh, I will I will check later. So I will wait until the last moment. Yep. I wait. I wait. Yep. Purchased. Oh uh, yep. So, uh, yep, I'll wait a bit. It might go back up, so uh, let's wait. Yeah, the the bearish candlestick comes out now. I still have chance. It's not too far. So, yep, it might come back. Yep, my comeback. Yep, there we go. Stay there. The last 15 seconds or so. Yep, let's count down. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yay! Another. 70 so uh, now it end up uh, 140 which is good 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 so um let's not be too excited I mean um when you get too excited you want to trade more and then um, you tend to not um, thinking much so uh, let's come down now um, let's keep looking at the currency pairs Yep, stay, still say strong buy. Uh, wait, let me let me put the um. Yep. What was this? Um, US dollar and US, you uh, Australian dollar and US dollar. Yeah. So now I'm using the three o three strategy. So um, which is a thirty minutes chart and a 3 minutes chart. So now I can see the uptrend here. Yep. Yep. Which so if you use everything together it's better chance to win as well. So um it just depends on you. Um if you are not familiar with the three of three strategy so um you can just use the moving average with the signal or if you are not familiar with the the um Wait, let me see here. Yep, looking good. If you're not familiar with the um, moving average, then you can just use the um, the 303 strategy here. So whichever, whichever suits you. Uh, yep, still strong by coming down a bit. I think I think um, let's do it. Let's do it. I think it's still good. Let's do it. 
It's still, oh, uh, well, it becomes a bit calm now, so uh, I'm actually a bit worried. But, um, let's see. Let's look at here. Assuming, uh, yeah, it's really calm. Like it's not moving. The uh, the stick is not coming out. Yep. It's, but well, it's still um it above the uh the purchase line. So um, I mean the entry point. So, oh no, <laughs> it dropped. Yep. Not good. Not good. Yep. I was too excited. So um. Need to need to get my mind back. So uh there's seventy dollars negative. But I still got seventy dollar profit, so uh let's keep it let's keep it doing. Let's keep going. Oh no, there's hundred dollar off. So uh yeah. Well it's still profit, still gonna still got gonna be able to make it back. Uh this one looks good. I mean, um, the British pound and US dollar going up. Fifteen minutes going up. One minute is going up. Oh, it's coming down a bit. It's going up as well here. Let's have a look in the euro. Going up. One minute is going up. Five minutes going up. Fifteen minutes going up as well. So let's have a look. Euro, yep, strong buy here. Let's change Euro, US dollar Change it to 3 minutes Yep, it's just finished Um, just double check On the um, 30 minutes chart as well Yeah, it's uptrend So, yep it's Yep, yep, yep <coughs> So the trade is like this <coughs> This comes down a bit more than yeah, yeah. Let's refresh. Strong buy, yeah, still strong buy. Which makes sense to me. Everything matches Euro. Yep, yeah, it's going up. Let's zoom in. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Looking good, looking good. So um, I'll wait for a bit more. So, oh no, oh no, it says sell now. It actually says sell. So um, no, I have to I have to ditch this one. Yep, <laughs> abandoned. Let's change. Um. British pound and US dollar Aussie. Let's have a look. What it says British pound US dollar strong buy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Let's go back. What what did I say? See just now. Oh, yeah, British pound and US dollar. Yeah, let's have a look here as well. <laughs> yep, it's uptrend. Like when you co collect this bottom price, yeah, it's going up. Let's get ready. Um, hundred. Yep, strong buy. Yep, so let's let's do it. Still gonna be able to make one or two more trades if it's I do. So yep. Uh humping yep, yep, it's coming down. So I uh, hope it comes down a bit before I make my purchase. Cause uh it will yep, yep. Let me focus now. I can't. I can't talk when I focus. Yep. I will. I will. I will make my purchase now. Yep. Yep. So yeah, it will go up. 
I'm oh no, it's coming down. But it will go, it will go, it will go. I'm uh, I'm quite confident on this one. Yep, let's do it. Let's get it back. Let's get back what we lost just now. So, I mean, when you trade, I mean, when you win, don't get too excited or too involved. And then, um, most likely you're gonna lose if you you have too mo emotionally involved to it. That's what happened just now. So, uh, yep. I'm always the bad example. So, yep. Just take me as an example, and uh, it will help you. Yep, that's good. There's another trade. Let's have a look. Yep. I won three times and I lost one. And the profit was uh is now hundred and ten dollar. So I try to do one more trade. If it if it looks good. Let's have a look on the MetaTrader. Yep. Euro, US dollar. What it says on the um. Yeah, it's drawn by. Yep, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, looking good. Still, still looks good. So let's go. Um, Euro, US dollar. Yep, let's go. Let's go, let's go quick. Oh, it just finished. That's a... <laughs> that's pity. Um... Yep, let's wait. Let's wait. <laughs> I think it will last for a while. Let's see. Yep, looking good. What happened? Ooh, it dropped. Let's zoom in here and see. No, it's going up. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, no. Oh, well, that's. There was. I think if I purchased, that was a win, but it's a really close one. Yep, so. Let's do it. Where's my signal? Yep, here. Strong buy. Let's do it. Uh, wait for a bit more. Well, uh, I use this time to um, introduce you guys the promotion again. So um, we are running a um, $10 welcome bonus campaign. So um, if you open the account with us now, you will get $10 for free, $10 welcome bonus. So um, use that $10 for whatever you want to practice the signal, to practice on the um, Economic Canada, to practice on the trading methods. I mean, whatever you want, and then uh, with that ten dollar, don't underestimate it. Uh, it might, it might bring you a quite nice fortune. So, um, I mean, yeah, um, register now, and then get it, get the ten dollars, make some profits. Uh, I can't think of a negative pawn on it, so yep, just do it now. Ten dollars welcome bonus, do it now. So, yep, let's do it. 100. Yep, yep. Oh, yep. I will do it. I will purchase, purchase now. Yep, purchased. Oh, 
Well, I mean, it's still okay. Let's hope. Oh, no, um, it might come back. I still have almost an one, almost one minute. Yep. That's really close. It's really nervous now. Um. Yep. Twenty seconds. So close. Ten seconds. Come on. Yep. Let's stay there. Don't disappoint me. Come on. Five seconds. Oh, come on. Whoa, that was close. That was close. Yep, that was a that, that was good. Like I won, like it was close, but yeah. So um for today the um profit comes to hundred and eighty bucks. Which is not bad. Um Yep. So um let's see how much I can make tomorrow. So uh I will see you guys tomorrow again. So um that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Yep. Bye. See ya.